if we want our arm to merge with multiple um, features, such as, for example, the torso. So then I could go and copy the system and bring it into, bring it over to our torso. So you can press O to center on selection. I have the body right here and I'm going to paste my system here. I want the body to be connected to the auto patch and I want this one. I'm just going to make sure first that our system connects to where it sits on the composite. And I'm going to connect the body over to the right side. And I want this to be cut by the auto patch of my arm. So right now if my arm were to go to the back, I would lose the line of my body. And as you could see, we had a little uh, problem here, and that is because we forgot to separate the color from our line. So we need to go and cut the color, paste it into the color art. Always make sure to do that. If not, uh, if your system isn't working, that is most likely the reason why. And now I want to go and connect the auto patch into my arm, but I don't have a port. I can't connect two connections to here. So what do I need to do if I want to have the, um, the line of my arm that is cut by both the color of my torso, but also with the, um, with the color of my forearm? So really easy. I'm going to add a composite and instead of having it connect directly, now I can have multiple connections that come uh, in here and cut the line of my arm. So if I go back again to my body, I'm going to take the auto patch and come and throw it into the composite right here. So now the body is cutting away the line of my torso, as you can see right here. Now obviously it's taking away some of the, uh, of the art that I have here. So what would I need to do in order to fix this? I can't really tell it to cut only part of my line, but not the entire thing. And it doesn't really know where it should stop cutting or anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of our other art layers. Right now we have something in the line art, we have something in the color art, but we don't have anything in the overlay, for example. Um, so if I wanted to have the arm set up in a way that would have a piece that would not be cut by anything, I could take my artwork here, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over to the overlay and paste it. Right now, if I go back to my drawing, it doesn't make a difference because at no point in my system is my overlay being read. My connection of my arm goes right away to the system right here. And in here, I'm only reading the line art and the color art. So if I want to add one more, I can go inside of my node library and I'm going to go get my overlay. And I want my overlay to read above all of this and not be affected by the cutter. So I'm going to come and grab this and connect it to my composite. So right now you can see that my line popped up here and it's uh, full again, so I'm free to go and modify this line in any way that I want. I want to make sure that I get rid of this line here instead I use, in case uh, of me using Z-Depth. And I can come and maybe do a little uh, taper on my line to, um, to make sure that my 
my drawing uh, fits the reference that I had. So I can come and, using the pencil editor, modify this line a little bit. You want to make sure that you copy and paste your art from the line art and you don't go and trace, uh, try and trace the art according to what you have here because you want it to be exactly on top of the art that you had. Otherwise, if you if your arm moves up like this and your line isn't perfect, uh, it will probably show and uh, not look very good. So now you can see that I've created the crease of my arm. And now even if uh, this arm goes outside of my body, I will always get a line that merges with the, uh, with the body. So you can create little creases like that for a lot of different things. Uh, for example, the arm, you could go and bring in this part right here. I'm going to go and throw this on, this on top and create a little crease for the arm as well. I can add some taper to my line. And then for this one as well, you can go and throw in an overlay module above everything. And now when I fold his arm, I will get that nice little crease right here that affects the character automatically when I pivot my arm. And just like that. So what you could do at this point, um, what I would certainly do is go and copy the entire system that you have. And since every time you get a cross uh, link on your torso, uh, on your, every time you get a cross link between two systems, it means that it will merge together both of those pieces. So what you could do at this point is do the legs, the arms, and all of the other pieces that need merging, such as the head and the cheeks. And in order to do that, instead of copying and pasting every single time your systems, you could take one, copy it, and I'm going to go into my library, move this up a little, and I'm going to template my systems into my library so that I can just click on it, drag it in, and I will automatically have access to it no matter which scene I'm in. So once you understand how it works, uh, you don't have to create them from scratch anymore. You just have to drag it in, connect it properly, and then use it to your liking. So I'm going to go into my templates here. Maybe I'll uh, get get a new folder to put it in. So I'm going to click right to modify on my template. I'm going to select new folder and name this systems. And I'm going to go and paste in the modules that I've already selected. So control V. I'm going to call this output merge group and press OK. So you could have one with the uh, already inserted overlay layer. You could have one without, create as many as you want and bring it in. Uh, so all of your systems could be put in here. We'll create some more in the future. So we're going to keep that little folder. And uh, so you can start merging away on the hands, on the legs as well, head and uh, cheeks, Go right ahead and I will see you guys at the next step.